Right. So just to, so last time I saw you in Nottingham, uh, you just announced Citizen Siege. Yeah. Yeah. And we got into development on that yeah. and we started working on it. And then we had the wonderful financial crash globally. And, uh, or I should say in the West, largely. Uh -huh. uh, and that really put a damper on different uh, opportunities that were emerging, on financing, on, on other things. So we ultimately decided to put the project on hold rather than try to you know, roll, the, roll a boulder uphill in a slippery mud storm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. you know, no, I which can is, imagine that would be a good idea yeah. To, yeah. To, to do that. Um, the next time I saw you was at... G, uh, GDC in 2003 or four Nine. years ago, and so, you were talking yeah. about something like that, and, and and you were talking at that time about, and, and I don't know where Citizen Seas was at that point, but you were talking about a, a, a kind of consolidated, continuous production pipeline, and you were talking about uh, mm -hmm. other, uh, I guess, other uh, media with which to use the, with which mm -hmm. use IP and creating a kind of centralized tech base. So you would make a TV show at the same time as you were making mm -hmm. the. Uh, uh, the, the, the video game, or the, the you're using the IP across different media, is that tied it, into? Well, is it, that still it, the aspiration? It, that was a big thing. I remember we. Were yeah, it was a big thing, and you know, as we got deeper into development, uh, it it became increasingly difficult to sort of I would say legalize the database rights. So our whole objective on that on that uh, aside from storytelling and making great entertainment for people was to amortize the assets across multiple uh, platforms and really kick machinima into a new level of, right. of storytelling and, and quality. And, uh, but when, you, when you're dealing with the film studios and you're dealing with the game publishers and you're dealing with cable networks, they all want to own every piece of the production along the way. So the, the complications that emerge in that strategy uh, become very significant and the more that the financial pressures are mounting on television networks film studios and game publishers which they have in major ways right. uh, the more those financial pressures mount the more difficult it is to get them to be more experimental uh, more risky more sharing with mm -hmm. assets you know it's kind of like we look at a future the future is more about sharing than any one party owning everything right, right? the future is more about google than it is about microsoft right right and and so, uh, all things considered, uh, I do absolutely 100% believe that that is the future of entertainment IP, that it is completely cross-platform, and uh, particularly if it can be guided by the visions that, of the personalities that created it, meaning those that feel the most passionate about really making sure that people who like the previous, the, properties in inc previous incarnations are also going to, you know, admire that same level of quality or same level of surprise in the newer incarnations. Uh, but all of the traditional formats are getting more and more expensive. Even getting a game on the shelf today is more and more expensive, not only in delivery costs, but in not only in development costs, but in just, you know, petroleum right. costs and shipping those around the world and everything is more expensive. So at the same time, we have the digital distributed landscape opening up. We have the social media opening uh, landscape that has completely uh, consumed bandwidth on planet Earth. And we have the social network that has opened up. And these are really, these weren't available uh, at the time that we even announced Citizen Siege. Mm. The, the, you know, Facebook really became yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a, a term in 2007. Right? Yeah. So uh, it's, a, it's a different world, and, and in that different world, we wanted to take a very fresh look at it. We didn't want to stay on the, on the treadmill in that hamster wheel, you know, just, just running, 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 trying to keep, keep our previous existence intact. Instead, we said, what, what's the smartest thing to do today? And that's where we had gone and aimed for the films, and then the financial crash, and that, you know, it caused a lot of financing troubles in the United States. Here we are today. <laughs> yeah, 